Welcome to Read to Succeed, where today I'm talking to Terry Dry about three books that he has read that have had a significant impact on him and his business career. So Terry, thank you um, for agreeing to, to participate in Read to Succeed. In this little short podcast, what I like to do is invite people that are readers, uh, not everyone is, but those that are, to just share with uh, us one or two books. Um, if you want three, that's okay. Um, books that have really had a significant impact in your life. And what I like to, to do is, is to hear what those books were, um, what they're about, and what you actually got from each one of them. So I don't know how many books you have on your mind. I mean, you may be an avid reader and have lots, but if maybe if we pick sort of up to maybe three that are really stand out as ones that um, have had a fairly significant impact on your life and share that with us, please. Yeah, uh, happy to do it. There's three that come to mind and they're all specific to business, but different aspects of it, business and life. And they're actually the three books that I typically buy for people when they come work with me. Yeah. Um, So the first one is The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success by Deepak Chopra. Okay. And do you want me to explain why? Yes. Yep. Okay. So tell me, tell me a bit about the book, and also, and and then what in particular you got out of the book. Yeah. So it's a Seven Spiritual Laws of Success by Deepak Chopra is really kind of guidelines on how to be in life, but also in business. And what I took away from it was really a lot about ego and how to try to, you know, <laughs> transcend your own ego and yeah. leadership and uh, respect and all sorts of different things. And it's the kind of book that I probably reread every six months where I've now got it on audio, listen to it. And it just helps from everything from just how to be more meditative and calm in your decision-making and in business and understanding more about yourself. And these spiritual laws just it's it's about success and it really helps you in life and in business. And I think for me, it's kind of also my value system. So it, it helps yeah. sort of introduce anyone I work with to like our values. Yeah. Okay. And I recommend it highly. Yeah. Right. Okay. So that's book number one. What about your second book? The second book is a book that was given to me by a friend and it's called The Go-Giver. And it's a, a parable. So it's interesting that I've given you two super short books that shows you that I'm not the greatest reader. Um, <laughs> but it's a parable about in business and in life about if you're just always thinking about how you can help, how you can serve and how you can give, that all these great things come back. And there's again, this one has sort of the rules of being a go giver. And it's not to say that you don't receive as well. But it's if you put your focus on helping others that yeah. you will then also get the gift of receiving their gifts in, you know, in the future. And it can lead you to a path of abundance and great things. But it's another kind of great sort of just setting like who you want to be, you know, and who you are and how you show up and how you conduct yourself in life and in business. And it yeah. had a huge impact on me. And when, like, how long ago would you have read that book? Um, I think that was given to me about four or five years ago. And in fact, it really helped inspire me to completely change how I was acting in business at the time. I was, you know, running a company and we were pitching clients and, you know, little things like don't ever bad mouth another client, like, or I mean, another company and don't just all these little pieces that are, to, they're totally common sense, but because it's written like a parable, parable, you see all of it play out in such a, yeah nice story and nice way because it's about a salesman is is the story and um it's interesting to see what happens when he's just trying to be helpful to others and how that kind of pays off and that's been part of my mantra in life and in business all right and the third book the third book's more sort of straightforward business which just came out i think in the last six months and it's called who not how by Dan Sullivan, who's a business coach. And it's this entire theory, this book's longer, about in business, you don't wanna get focused on how you're gonna get something done, but rather who's gonna get it done for you. And so it speaks to this, it really retrains you as an entrepreneur and as a business person to focus on, okay, 
I don't have to do everything myself. In fact, I should try not to do everything yeah. and really find the unique who's, if you will, who to do these tasks rather than how am I going to do it myself? And it's had a profound impact on me. The way I run my business, the way that we try to get things done now is I've got like a series of who's around me who are specialized people. And this book really trained me to just rethink how I do things because back in my day, I would just try to do everything. And now I realize this is a better way to approach it. So that really helped me as well. So that book, from what you've said, you've only just read it recently. Yeah. So does that speak to the fact that you philosophically have a view that you should always be learning, that, that you're always looking to improve? Is, is that, Was that the motivation or is it just kind of not at that level? Someone just recommended it to you and you read it? I'm on a constant quest to learn and be better. I, I live for continual optimization. My wife, it was funny, this just came up. Somebody said, Terry, you're addicted to working. And my wife said, no, he's addicted to learning. And it's so funny because I was a lousy student. So I only really had a respect for learning after I got in the business world. Um, but it's true. So I'm always trying to be better and better myself. And I'm big on self-improvement and, and learning about myself and learning about the world. So yeah, you're totally right. I'm always trying to be better. Yeah. And for me, you know, I've done this uh, read to succeed because I think that reading, it's not the only way, but reading is a great way to, to learn. Absolutely. And uh, Audible is a good thing. It's, it's, it's uh, I've just recently, I used to never do audiobooks, but yeah, audiobooks have really, I've really, really enjoyed. What about you? What's like your number one book? My number one book. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I've lot, read lots of books. I read a lot of um, variety of books. Um, anything. I prefer nonfiction. Um, I do read a little bit of fiction. I'm actually a book, a big book I'm reading. I've only early stages of reading at the moment. It's totally unrelated. It's about Ulysses S. Grant. Awesome. So I kind of I've always been a bit of a fan of American history and, uh -huh. you know, the Civil War and how, you know, he beat Robert E. Lee. Robert E. Lee got all the, all the, the fanfare. You know, he was like, you know, this amazing general and and Grant was portrayed as just a bit of a drunk sort of thing and, and had all the had all the numbers. So, you know, and I just always felt that there's more to this guy than what, you know, probably some more southern um, authors might have written. So quite keen to to um, read that book. So I'm working reading that one at the moment, early stages. Um, books that I've read that kind of had a difference, uh, Stephen Covey's Seven High, uh, Habits of Highly Effective People. Yeah, great one. Uh, yeah, I, I still think about that one a lot. Um, I refer to it a lot. So that's that's been a book that I've really enjoyed. Um, yeah, I've read lots of different business books, but that that's probably the one that jumps out to me more than anyone else, actually, to be honest. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. That's good to hear. Yeah, that's interesting reading about Grant. Yeah, it's, I like reading biography books, too. Yeah, I'm with you on that. But I've been on a total business book kick uh, for the last little while. Yeah, yeah, I've read quite a few biographies um, successful people and that. Like I've read um, Shoe Dog. I read yeah. that one quite recently. That was interesting. That was really interesting, actually, um, to hear the story about Nike. Um, who else? I've read about Richard Branson, uh, yeah. his book. Um, yeah, lots of different uh, business people and sports people too. I feel I feel that um, quite a bit of the keys to success in sport can also be consistent with um, that in business as well. So, totally. yeah. Yeah, I used to read, I read a ton of like uh, music biographies, you know, and then yeah. what was so funny is like then all of a sudden I'd meet some of the people when I was in the business and it was so freaky, you know, to me, yeah. like, see somebody I work with that was in this book. So you reminded me of that. But yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that would be pretty interesting. So yeah. yeah, I don't read as much as I like to um, because I'm just yeah busy in that. So generally more the holidays. I think audio books is a great idea uh, for me though. I'm not in the traffic a lot, but I think if you're in traffic a lot, then uh, audio books a great way to go. Yeah, I take long walks and jogs, and that's when I do it. Um, right. 
not as much in traffic, which is funny because I live in LA, but yeah. uh, not as much. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Terry. Um, well, re really appreciate your time. And it's, yeah, it's been really interesting and enjoyable and educational. So thank you. Thanks, Paul, for having me. It's so nice to meet you too.